Hi Aries, welcome to your beginning to mid-August 2019 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Aries, I, it's such an honor to really get to know you guys. All the support and the love you guys have been sending me, it's really, it's not like it's overwhelming in a bad way where I'm like, you know, stressed about it, but it's like so, it's unbelievably supportive and I thank you guys so much. Um, be sure to check out my Instagram pages. I just created an Instagram for my business as well as my personal. So if you're interested in following me on Instagram to support your girl, go ahead and check the description box. Um, if you'd like a personal reading with me as well, um, go ahead and book me at www.mermaidscalesterra.com. I do have to say I'm booked until September, but you know, I, I do have some dates open in September, so go ahead and get those quick. Um, yeah. That's really all I have to say for the beginning parts. Oh, yeah, and the contest that's always recycled every month. Go ahead, check the description box to see how you can enter a free re reading with me. Let's get started. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs of Aries. Um, you know, Aries, I'm reading a, for a bunch of you guys, so of course not every single message is going to resonate. That's totally fine. Um, messages are said for those who need to hear them, and that's how my guides prioritize the messages that I say during these readings because it's the messages that people have been praying for and wanting to receive information on the most. Um, I would also check out your rising Venus and moon signs just so people resonate with you more. Um, depending on the planetary aspects on the sky, sometimes those signs resonate more than your sun sign. Um, Top watcher is high. If you're interested in Aries, you're very welcome here as well. Just know that I'm picking up on Aries and cross watcher energy, so Aries, keep this in mind too. Um, if you feel like there's a certain situation where I'm saying it was Aries and you're like, hey, that was me, vice versa, go ahead and flip it. This is very broad, very general public that I'm picking up on a lot of energies for, okay? And we all have divine feminine and masculine energies. When I'm referring to those terms, masculine and feminine, I'm referring to energies, not gender. If anything is gender specific, I'll let you know. Okay, let's see how this all started, Aries. This is going to be for someone you're thinking about, who you have a connection with, whether um, you're in a relationship with them, whether they're coming into your lives or they're from the past. It's Mercury retrograde and very heavy in retrograde season, so it could be that. So... I'm just the messenger. <laughs> Let's get this started. All right. Give me some background on this connection, spirit. How this connection kind of started. True love. Okay. With let your friends help you at the bottom of the deck. So what I'm seeing here already is that um, for some of you, you guys were recently falling in love with someone in the past. Um, even so much so that maybe you went public with it. Maybe you guys started dating. Maybe you guys started, um, if you guys were hooking up, your friends knew about it kind of thing and their friends knew about it or whatever. Um, but you guys were like a cute couple from what I'm seeing. Everyone loved the fact that you guys were together. You guys seemed really cute. Um, you do cute things like always hold hands. Um, maybe they let you borrow their jacket for the girls or the feminines, it was like as if they are always like, oh, this could be, you know, the one, the one that you have a family with, the one, and you know, you're like, oh, okay. Um, but, you know, it was, everyone was really rooting for you guys, what I'm kind of getting from this. Um, you know, especially with this kind of thing right here, with the angel supporting this type of thing. And look how cute they are, like with the holding hands, like what I said. I didn't even notice that till now. Um, you know, and it's like something that you guys were so happy about. You told everyone like, guys, I'm really feeling this person. Like I just met him, whether it was online for some of you, but others of you, it was just like maybe through a class, through work, um, through just meeting up with friends and just meeting through friends type of thing. That's heavy here as well. Maybe at a party, maybe at a bar, maybe at a, um, celebration of some sort or a get together. But regardless, um, it was like all eyes were on you guys, Aries. Like, you guys were a cute couple. And if that was not the case, like, you, this is like long distance and everything. It's like as if, like, all your friends knew about this connection, though. Like, they'd be, you'd be talking and they'd be like, oh, have him again or her again. And you'd be like, yeah. I don't know. It, it's just, I'm getting a really sweet energy here. So let's see. This is in the recent past, okay? 
recent can be, you know, time is fluid as well. Um, you know, whether this was a month ago, a few weeks ago, maybe in the beginning of January for some of you, or around that time. Aries energy. Nine of swords. Okay, so you were worried about something, though, in the recent past. What was significant other in Cross Watcher's energy towards this connection? True love. What was the significant other's feelings towards this connection in the recent past for Aries? Again, keep in mind, Titan is fluid, right? So this could even start happening to you. I'm saying in the past, but really honestly, it could even happen in a week from now. It's intended for beginning to mid-August, but really whenever you hear this reading is meant for you around, you know, the time that you hear it towards, you, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, what is the um, significant other's connection at the time towards this connection that they had with Aries? Okay, so we have the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. So this could be Pisces and Cancer energy for Cancer for me as a reader. Um, you know, there is just some. I'm getting this in a few different ways. So again, this is going to apply to a different group of Aries. For some of you guys, it was as if the, like this person and this connection, it was just like nothing you really experienced before and it just intrigued you this person like you always wanted to learn more about them they always surprised you in a certain way maybe they were really into philosophy i'm hearing voltaire for some of you um i'm hearing like dalai lama maybe they were really in it could be vice versa too um really spiritual kind of writings here and for some of you rumi rumi um, and it was as if you were intrigued, intrigued every single time you had a conversation with this person. You wanted to get deeper and deeper into their knowledge, their wisdom. Some of you, this person could be older, especially, um, I'm picking up on the feminine energy might have been a lot older than the masculine energy. Um, but if that's not the case, this person had a really old soul or you have a really old soul, Aries. Um, so... Getting into this though, for others of you, there could have been some sort of secret in the air, Aries, whether you were worried about this from the other person or you were holding back some information yourself. Um, I'm not feeling like it was anything too severe. I just feel like it was something that really was on your mind a lot, whether you were worried about um, I like something that Maybe you felt like some connection was starting to get lost between the two of you. Or you, you know, something they did made you feel worried about losing this connection. Maybe they stopped hitting you up as much. Um, and then you would ask them and they'd be like, oh, I was just busy at work. But your intuition was saying something else like, well, you know, it was a Sunday. like, <laughs> Or it would be something like, um, oh, I was just gonna go, I was just visiting my family, you know, and it was like different because it says if I'm feeling like you guys would message each other all day, call each other all day, or you would hang out all the time. And then all of a sudden it was as if things got a little slowed down and it made you think like, well, what's, what's going on? Like, you know, people make excuses for all sorts of things, but logic is logic and, you know, you just felt like something was different. No matter what they said, it was like, okay, but then you wouldn't just flat out out the blue, just stop hitting me up for no reason, you know? It's interesting, because the high priestess is intuition, don't get me wrong, but it's about coming to a realization through knowing something. Like, to me, it's kind of a combination of knowledge and intuition, so like, logic and feelings is to me the high priestess of, as a reader combination of the two so it says if you know something's up but you're dependent on your feelings to figure it out and maybe it was hard to figure out for you aries like they always had a really 
convenient excuse um, as to why they may have not been hitting you up or have been like engaging as much conversation with you or not hanging out with you as much and it started to worry you because it was like as if you were putting yourself through all these what ifs, should ifs, how coulds, if buts, ands and it was just getting too much, getting too overwhelming for you. For some reason I'm getting um, a message here that it's like some of you guys like to listen to like audiobooks through your headphones. And if it's not audiobooks, it's like things like um, the Calm app. And don't worry, I'm not getting paid for saying that. Um, Calm app or things like on an app that was like meditative, helping you calm your nerves because like lately you guys were getting really bad sleep. Um, and you were trying to do anything you could to kind of just ease your mind a bit because of this unknown that you're trying to figure out. Some of you could have Cancer um, Pisces in your chart or you could be dealing with one again. But the thing is, is that, you know, they felt as you were like everything they wished for, everything they wanted, Aries. So as much as you may have felt like there was some sort of thing going on, Aries, I felt like, you know, this whole time they actually, we'll, we'll get into clarifiers, but for some of you, I feel like they really were telling the truth. Maybe they were a bit aloof about it, like maybe they weren't as caring and like providing some answers which left these huge holes in their stories, right? Like, you know, they were just so nonchalant and you didn't figure why, you know, someone could go from like texting and talking for 24-7 to like, you know, ghost town. It doesn't make sense, but for some people it really does. <laughs> it, you'll be surprised never be surprised by the variety of people we have in this earth but you Aries were everything for them I mean for some of you I feel like this person whoever you were involved with had really bad luck um, when it comes to romance when it came to uh, relationships maybe I'm getting for some of you not all of you but some of you maybe this person wasn't very popular growing up um, maybe they were more introverted. Maybe they got, I'm getting for some of them really got like picked on or bullied as children. Um, and so they always just never thought, you know, they always wished for the perfect person to come into their life to help them, you know, realize that love truly exists. As corny as that sounds. But the energy I'm feeling here is that like you, you came, you, you, you were their manifestation. All those times when they were like, you know, as long as I just really, really want someone who can really understand me, not judge me, love me for who I am. And Aries, I felt like that was you for them. You could be dealing with another um, fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. But really to me, this is your energy coming in for them. Like their, their wish come true. And I know a lot of people don't take Three of Wands as wishes coming true, like the Nine of Cups or the Star, but to me it is. It's like the return of your manifestation, right? And what is a manifestation if it's not a wish or a want or a yearning, right? But I want to get a little to detail about this Nine of Swords. Some of you could also have air in your chart, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, where you could have been dealing with one of the signs. What is this Nine of Swords? Let's see if this will provide any more information. I do feel like I'm just keep on drawing to that high priestess though. It was something that you just couldn't figure out. Okay, the world. And the three, ooh. Okay. Okay, Aries. Um, a couple things here that I'm picking up on, okay? Um, so with the world card, it's as if you finally kind of came into a, when you met this person, um, again, it could be fairly recently for some of you. It was like as if you were at a point of your life when you closed something completely out, whether that was a toxic relationship that you finally got over. You finally said, you know, I'm letting go of this. I can't carry this with me anymore. And I'm elevating myself to a point where that's all behind me now. For some of you, that was a, definitely a relationship, and it had to do in the past with um, 
with, you know, some of you it was betrayals of cheating, um, or lying, or deceiving. And so whatever that case was with that person in the past, this is a different energy than what I'm feeling here, by the way, just to clarify. Um, you, you closed it out. You're like, I'm done and I'm moving on. So hence you moved on, met someone new. And for some reason though, it's as if that worry of being betrayed and hurt from a third party situation would occur again for some of you. Like as if, although that final chapter was closed in your life, there was still a tiny part of your heart that was still kind of on the defensive and you know, maybe this person, it was like in retrospect, it was like when they were texting and they may have put their phone down, you know, with the screen not showing and you were like, that's exactly what that person used to do. Or, you know, you would be like, oh, where did you just go? And you were, they were like, oh, I went to the gas station in um, a city 20 minutes away from you. And you're like, well, there's one around the corner. Why don't you go to that one? And they, you know, had a, an excuse. And it, it's just like certain that these things that you, it just started adding up and adding up and you were kind of afraid, what if this chapter I closed all of a sudden now reopens again? I can't take that again. I can't. I can't. I can't put a lot of work into something that's just going to be another, I'm almost hearing failure. Some of you guys felt like your last relationship was just a complete and total fucking failure. And... It just, that was worrying you. It's like, I, I, you know, maybe some, some of your friends, I don't know, if, you know, Aries, I'm kind of feeling for some of you guys, maybe some of your friends kind of was just like, oh, I, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest, okay? And this is not going to be for all of you, but I feel like maybe some of the people that were around you, unfortunately, some people don't like to see you doing so well, doing so high, being in a high vib vibration. And some people can be very sneaky about it, okay? Like trying to keep their true intents hidden. So I feel like for some of you, it was as if your friends were like, oh, but remember when blah blah did this to you and blah blah did that to you? That's kind of weird and this person's doing it again? Like, hmm. I don't know. I'm getting some sort of a, a petty, jealous type of energy that was around you. That could have been a friend or a frenemy. Um, that was kind of putting these bugs in your ear for some of you that made you worry about this or made you worry about Cheating and if you know and if the past you know relationship of someone cheating on you and you closing out didn't resonate with you Then this could be that someone simply in your friend group was kind of just Jealous at this new high point you were at your life because maybe they weren't at one at all Maybe they were at their lowest you know, God knows why people act the way they do, right? And so when they see you in this new relationship, this true love that maybe they always weren't able to manifest for themselves, they wanted to put some shit in your ear to make you worry about this. And make you be like, oh, well, you know, I saw them with someone else at this party or I saw them hugging this person at this place and it, it got you worried. For some of you, okay? Take what resonates. I am going to clarify the Three of Wands now just to see, um, you know, that there, there wasn't anything that on their side that they may have been hiding. Is there? Can you please clarify the Three of Wands and let us know if there was anything? Maybe certain Three of Cups, Three, Three. Have another card. One more card. Six of Swords. Okay. So what I'm getting for you guys, there's a couple of different messages here as well. For some of you guys. Okay download here and this isn't going to apply to everyone again but it's as if maybe 
you, Aries, were involved in a third party situation with this person and they were dating someone at the time. But whether you knew it or not, some of you did, some of you didn't. I, that's like 50-50 for some of you, the group of you that's going to resonate with this. They chose to leave their relationship for you, Aries, because they felt like you were the person that was really more compatible for them and that you, you know, it was more than just like a good time that they saw with you. You provided stability for them, um, security for them. Um, you know, it wasn't just like, for some of you, maybe this, the person that they were dating um, in the past was kind of like a party person, like they drank a lot, maybe they did drugs, maybe they had sex a lot with different people. Kind of, I'm getting a rave, a raver, a raver. Some of them were dating a raver, maybe they're raving. Ah, okay, so that could be one scenario for some of you. Others of you, they were just so unlucky in love that for a while all they were doing was partying, um, you know, to kind of ease off that sadness they had that they really didn't believe in love and that love wasn't for them. No one, you know, they were just very unlucky in love, so they were burying it um, through these kind of vices, right? But they, they left that, Aries. They left that for you. They left that lifestyle away for you. So some of you, it was kind of like as if you were worried about this person's vices overall. Um, but I do see them like slowly getting over that sort of, some of them really got out of depression. I'm feeling that strongly when they met you. And that's really sweet. It's as if when they met you, Aries, it was like they no longer wanted to just hide their feelings by partying. They no longer wanted to cover up what they felt through drinking. They wanted to move away from that because they saw a real connection with you that they didn't want anything to infringe on. Whether that's lucky, it was like, or I mean, whether that was um, persistent or not, we'll see in the future cards, okay? But again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay. What is the current energy affecting Aries and this person at this time? For August, beginning August to mid August, what will be affecting them during this time frame? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is safe for you to love with romantic feelings. Okay, so yeah, for those of you that were worried in the past, I feel like that's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. I think things were being discussed. Romantic feelings were being expressed, validated perhaps. And I think in the beginning to mid-August, you're going to realize it's okay for you to open your heart to this person. You know, no one's perfect. I feel like they did make mistakes. You guys did have a couple arguments or disagreements about things, but Aries, I know you're smart enough to realize this. Aries, every Aries I kind of knew were very intelligent, but like people just always think, well, my relationship isn't perfect because it wasn't the fairy tale bullshit that you see people post on social media as if everything's always a hundred percent peachy and cheery. Um, I think it's like. Through all the bullshit, through all the disagreements, um, some of you guys it was as small as like getting the wrong thing at the grocery store kind of thing. So I, you know, nothing that could really um, damage a relationship in any way. Some of you it could have been bigger than that. Okay, like maybe they drink too much. Maybe they, I don't know, something along those lines. But you guys still felt very strongly for each other regardless of what disagreements happen and I you know you're realizing it's okay to open your heart to this person in the beginning to mid-August again time's fluid <laughs> um let's see what your energy is towards this 
Aries, what is Aries energy towards this connection for beginning to mid-August? For some of you, I'm getting that you guys took some sort of break. Um, Ace of Swords. Some some of you guys took a break, and maybe you guys like kind of were like, yeah, I need just a, some time to myself, or maybe they said this to you. But when the separation occurred, you guys came to a realization that, you know what, we should be together. Or it might happen for you guys during this time. Um, what is cross watcher or significant other's energy towards this connection queen of pentacles okay so some of you could be connecting with an earth sign taurus virgo and capricorn but with the ten of wands as being the overall um Okay, so Aries. Again, air energy, you could have that somewhere in your chart. It's as if, you know, you came to the realization that for some of you that, like, carrying this weight of um, untrustworthiness, of doubt, of, you know, thinking like, you know, this is just too much work, I don't feel like it's worth it, but at the end of the day you still have romantic feelings, you did came to the clarity, the realization that this is worth carrying that burden. The burden of having a relationship, the burden of commitment, the burden of compromise between two people in order for to make something work. It's as if you realize that, you know, nothing is perfect. No relationship is perfect. Maybe because of the hurts I've experienced in the past, I kind of set this expectation now where any single thing that went outside of this high expectation I had, I would red flag it, you know, and then just start closing up and not trusting the person or the feelings I had. But Aries, I think you're going to come into a very um, clear mindset that it, it's... Again, like people mess up, people make mistakes, but you're ready to really tie yourself down to this person. Um, you're willing to sacrifice your vulnerability again. Um, being so guarded with your heart, it, it's time to really, you know, put it out there. And for some of you, I feel like that was, or it will be really hard to do. But it will be worth it because look at here you got the queen of pentacles as their energy they're opening up their you know to me the queen of pentacles is usually i see so much green in the original card i see green here too actually but it's as if maybe their heart was a little bit closed to, off too um aries but I'm hearing Capricorn. Some of you might have Capricorn in your chart or you're dealing with a Capricorn. But they're finally warming up and opening themselves. Maybe Aries, I'm actually getting this for some of you. It was like as if you were waiting for them to open up truly. And it was a burden to wait and wait and wait. But now they are ready with the Queen of Pentacles. They're ready to give. They're ready to provide. They're ready to sustain. They're ready to really, you know, work for this relationship. And, you know, before it was like when they were aloof with, you know, the things I was describing in the previous card setting of, um, you know, not really realizing about what they would say would just leave all these holes and gaps and things in your head that would make you second guess the connection or the relationship you two had, they're coming to the realization that now um, it's time to be more considerate for some of you. And I don't think it ever came from an intent of selfishness. I think it came from an intent of just being unaware for some of them. But some of them are making really good money who you're connecting with. 
Um, maybe they just got a raise, a promotion in their job. And so now that they have this sort of um, abundance coming in their life, they're ready to put more towards the relationship. Maybe some of them are going to pro ask if you guys want to move in together um, for some of you. Others of you, it's going to be something where it's like, they're going to buy you something really nice, like a like a totem of their appreciation, like either like a watch or a bracelet or, you know, I don't know. I'm just seeing something like along those lines where it's like, thank you for being there for me when I needed you. Like, it's really beautiful. And I think it was a burden for them too, Aries, to have their heart kind of closed off or when they kind of realize that you were picking up or feeling anxious about what you two had because of some sort of, again, something happened where it was just like starting to get weird. Um, whether it was the situation I was describing earlier or not. But they, they're, they're willing to like not have that question be in your mind anymore. They're, and they're willing to show it too. They're willing to show that you can trust them. You can trust them with their heart and you they can trust you with your heart it's time to give and receive with the queen of pentacles at the highest like honey queen of pentacles like that that's that's someone who's really a ride or die for you you know someone who has a good heart and will do what it takes to make sure you're taken care of doing well and i'm not saying aries you need anyone to take care of you i'm saying like they you know, ever anything you ask, they will help gladly provide and give assistance to, okay? All right, let's see their highest hopes and deepest fears for this connection. What is their highest hopes for this connection? What's their highest hopes for this connection? Page of Wands, interest, or Page of Swords, okay. Interesting placement. Um, what is their deepest fears that this connection could go towards, or what do they fear from this? Temperance. Interesting. Okay. So let's get into this. Um, Page of Swords. So I feel like. Aries, they're a bit afraid that you're going to be still kind of defensive towards them. That it's as if they haven't fully regained that sick, um, they're hoping that with, you know, everything Their highest hopes is that you can stand strong knowing the truth. Knowing the truth of the situation, the relationship, that they always got your back. <laughs> Literally, right? <laughs> Some of them, they like that ass. Okay? But, that you can, you, that when they don't have the best communication with you, some of them, they just have really crappy communication, okay? We all have flaws. Some of them are just not really good with their words, and they don't say the things that um, before maybe made you feel confident in them or the relationship in itself. But their highest hope for this is that they can work on their communication to where you would be sturdy enough knowing the truth that you can rely on and that you wouldn't have to keep on looking over your back thinking that they're doing something behind your back is what I'm really getting here. That you would, you know, the relationship would be more built on a solid, although it's getting small, you know, it's starting small, um, but it, they want to grow it to something bigger. So it's as if, it's as if, you, you know, they want to rely on the fact that you, you can always trust them and although it's like small steps, it's getting somewhere at the end of the day. And that's their highest hope for it. That at least these baby steps will be taken. So, you know, the 
all those baby steps add up to where the destination needs to go. Again, Rome wasn't built in a day. Especially connections like this can take a while to really implement a gorgeous relationship. Of course I'm going to um, clarify temperance in their biggest fears. For some of you that was resonating with um, that this person could have had some sort of addiction issues, I think some of their fears could be them being thrown out of balance, right? Um, Eight of Wands and Five of Swords. Okay, I see. So Aries, their deepest fear out of this connection from what I'm getting from this combination here is that, you know, words will be said, things will be accused of, you know, quickly, fastly, without even any sort of room for explanation of anything. Again, I feel like some of you really have trust issues. And maybe they do too, Aries. But it's like as if one thing is suspected, it's like quickly, forcefully, surely confronted about, right? And it's it gets into these like, maybe these little tiffs or these little arguments that end up, you know, someone saying something that they didn't mean out of a very fast sort of reaction to something. And that, you know, temperance is always here to balance it out restore the chaos that went about and they don't want you know this continuance of you know things being said misconstrued um misunderstood to where it leads them to have to restore this balance again or vice versa um balance being restored in the relationship at all like look i'm sorry that wasn't right of me um let's make this work i really want to make this work um, that's what I'm really getting from this position. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just getting it's kind of more of a situation where it, it's, if they feel like it's going to take a lot of spiritual work within them, or they fear that it's going to, and that it's going to be a continuous process of restoring the balance between you know, the fights you guys have or the misunderstandings is really what I'm getting. Um, that leads to really, really hurtful things that are said. Whether it's you or them. I think sometimes, and most of the time, it's on both ends. It takes two to tango. But it's as if it's like their deepest fear is that it's just going to constantly be that kind of merry-go-round of arguing and making up. I just picked up on something. Some of you guys have really great makeup sex. And they, they really like that. <laughs> Sorry, but all right Aries. I'm gonna go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended version We're gonna go ahead and look at what they want to do with this connection What the likely outcome is and any advice for you Aries? So if you're gonna see me on Vimeo, I'll see you there. If not Aries, thank you so much I love you all. Um, your support is amazing. I hope you guys have a great beginning of your August Please comment like share and subscribe if this resonates Mercury retrograde <laughs> if this resonated with you. All right, Aries, love you. Take care.